An artist can use lines, shapes, and colors to communicate the things that they see around them or the things that they are feeling inside. But the artist that we're gonna look at today, she uses these elements to discover and communicate the subconscious. Our artist today is, well, she's quite a prolific drawer. She draws using various kinds of materials and she uses these to communicate her subconscious. Her work is very exciting, very intricate, very detailed. I think you're gonna find it quite interesting. Let me introduce you to her right now. Hi, um, my name is Hannah. I was born in Van Buren and I mostly grew up in Connecticut but now I live in Van Buren again, and I'm actually about to move to Fayetteville. I have been making art since I was really, really, really small, probably as long as I can remember. I started out with markers and crayons and finger paint and paint and that kind of stuff. It was just something that seemed like I just was born kind of doing. I almost still make art in that way, that it sort of just comes from my body, not something I've come up with in my head or that comes from like education. Although I, do, I did study art in college, it's just something I make from my body kind of in the same way that I did as a child. I really enjoy the process. I think if anything, it's in some ways a little bit compulsive for me, but also therapeutic. Dealing with some difficult things that happened to me growing up that couldn't, couldn't really be put into words and that can just like come out of the body like in like physical form. I have been making works that have more narrative elements, illustrations for a book that I haven't written or like I have been writing pieces of it but almost like working backwards. The works in this show, these, these are just like small drawings on paper. It's like a very physical process and I don't, I don't really plan. As far as the imagery, where that comes from is really just drawing people um, in my surroundings. And then I think that those images, they take on symbolic meaning, like it's like translating something out of my subconscious. The way I, I think about my work is informed by a lot of my experiences of processing trauma and kind of like new research on trauma and trauma therapies and how this is stored in the brain and the body and then how it can come out in images. And so my art has been a way for me to process. It's my first solo exhibition. There's something about the show as a reflection of like my own subconscious processing. And so when people witness that, I think that that can do something to their subconscious. I've been thinking a lot about mirror neurons and it's kind of this phenomenon in the brain where people subconsciously mirror each other all the time. When one person feels their trauma and they put something out into the world that, that, that influences other people. I think that to some extent that's what I see as the role, the role of art intended to heal the person who makes it. Thank you for joining us for another virtual exhibition of art. I hope you enjoy getting to meet Hannah and to learn a little bit about her process for making art. If you are interested in purchasing a work of art by Hannah, the Art Center would love to arrange that for you. Please contact us and we will give you all the necessary information in order to do that. If you are interested in becoming a member of the Center for Art and Education, we would welcome you. Please contact us for more information about that. Until next time, thank you and goodbye.